Right. Welcome back to another episode of Claim Your Throne Queen. And today we have Mikelina. Hello. Hello. I am so happy you're here. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. I'm oh, excited. We, we had to have you. <laughs> I mean, you know, I've been told that everything luxury, blah, 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 you know. So I'm like, oh, I have to have Mikalina. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Mikalina, so give us, are you staging? Are you, give us a little bit background on what you do. Yeah, so we do uh, luxury staging for vacant properties, so new construction. Um, so we work with real estate agents, we work of with um, investors, builders, all, yes. all the above. So, um, but I, I, ha I know that I connected with you because I was doing something on the luxury side mm -hmm. with Casey. Okay, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then I was just like, oh, I love her. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. I, I know the property that you're talking about too. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's pretty much what we do. We do. We specialize in vacant, vacant home staging. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we've been doing it for seven years now. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how did you start? Right, because this is a podcast of helping women achieve their goals, go after their dreams. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a story, but oh, uh, let's go for it. <laughs> uh, so I birthed her um, seven years yes. ago. I was pregnant with her. And um, but before that, I was working for my cousin um, doing office management for kids with autism. She owns her own okay. clinic there. And so I was doing that for a long time. And um, I've always wanted to be and, and I didn't even know what staging was. I didn't know that it was. I was I wanted to be a stager. That's not what I I didn't know. I landed in here. Oh. Um, but I always wanted to work with styling, decor, designing, everything like that. Um, so I went to school for interior design. OK, well, that explains a lot. Yeah, I went there <laughs> and then but I couldn't complete. I think I did one or two semesters, but um, I had a family who was, you know, who got ill. And so I had to oh, take okay. care of it was my dad um, take take care yeah, of that whole thing that was priority mm -hmm. and um i feel like every time i was trying to attack and actually execute into it there was always a roadblock always isn't it always like always. that yes Still isn't it always today. like yeah. that every time you're trying to do something that you really want to yeah. do uh -huh. it's like okay i'm ready right now i go boom i couldn't every it was like always something so um so sorry i dance i dance sometimes uh, That's so okay. uh, so that I didn't end up finishing that. So then um, me and my husband were fixing and flipping properties. Oh, okay. So you got into that side of the real yes. estate. Well, and you never thing. thought about getting your license? Oh, girl. Oh, oh you know how many times I get, Stop. I know. You got no, to tell us. No, no, I, we get, I, get, I get asked quite often, like, you uh -huh. should get your real estate license. Um, no, no offense. No. I, I respect you women who do the real estate <laughs> agent. I mean, you guys, are, you guys deal with a lot of stuff. Yes, we a do. A lot of stuff. It's just I, like a lot of, a I lot of stuff. You're going to have to come and talk for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. So yeah, so but going because I jump around a lot sometimes. So that's I'm sorry, okay. you're gonna have to smack me like no, I no, told no, you. No, no, that's fine. But so you never got your real estate license. Never got my real estate license, but be, um, but I really always wanted. This was my true passion to like be in the you know the design space. Okay. Um, always watching the HD TVs, not the now HD TV back in the day. Okay? okay, like I'm talking about elementary. All that stuff. I just used to always watch those types of shows like what the were furniture. The shows oh, back in the day. I'm gonna. T I remember Bob's. You remember Bob's? No. You know the old house. Um, it, there's something. There was something on Channel 13. What was oh that? well, I'm gonna tell you about Channel 13 oh, because oh, maybe she... maybe you maybe you know. I don't think anybody knows this oh, person, happened? but I used to. I was a little girl yeah. and I used to watch Lynette Jennings. Oh. Do you know who that is? I've heard. Okay, because nobody knows. So I was like, I've heard. I used to okay. watch her, and I loved her so much. She was like an interior designer. And I even wrote into her. I was like in fourth grade, fifth grade. I was like, dear Lynette Jennings, oh, I want to be on oh, okay. Whatever. Yeah, I loved it. And even to this day, all I watch is like shows or like stuff with like fur. Like I just yes. like to watch and I, I just like it. I love it. And 
always watch those things. Even when I was dating my husband at the time, he was like, damn, you always watch this stuff. And yes. I was like, it's nice. You should get, like, you know, you see the transformation. Like, yeah. Whatever, whatever. And then we kind of got into, that's where we got into, like, the flipping side of it. Mm, so you, you ventured into the world of... For that avenue, but so then I can come in and do the staging at that point and, and the design. And did you know that you were doing that staging? Or did you purchase it and then go, okay, now I have to make it pretty? So when we got when we did the flip, our first flip, right? Um, I said, "Oh my god, I can't!" I did the design space and everything, like the finishes and touches right. and stuff like that. And then um, now it's furniture time. Mm -hmm. Now it's all accessorizing time. So I said, "Okay, well, where I'm gonna find the furniture?" <laughs> so, <laughs> I love it. She's like the furniture. Where are we gonna find all this? Mm -hmm. You know. And so even when I started, I would go to networking events, and it wasn't. I didn't really, and I swear, I really didn't know any other like stagers or right. anything like that to kind of see like you know yeah get a little help or something mm -hmm. so well i did one but she was mm -mm. Mm -hmm. so uh <laughs> shouldn't i help you no oh, okay we won't well, name okay we won't name her you know casey so i know okay no i'm kidding so um so the first project that we did i used renaissance which is terrible. Oh, I love it. <laughs> this is juicy. I this said, is juicy oh God. stuff. It okay. was Rana Center, and I said, "What am I gonna use here? This is ugly." So I had to pick the. I had to. I had to work with what I had to work with. I tried right. to pick the most basic stuff, but you know, it was. It, it, was, came, it came out. It came out nice. Yes, because you had. The it came visual. out nice. I had a. I you had, had a, the visual already. I had to camouflage a lot of little things. So <laughs> right. So that property actually sold like within one week okay and everybody who came in and i was there for the open house everything i was a present i was every i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like i want to know of you who don't know <laughs> i was no you'll know what a present yeah. is <laughs> i wanted to know i was like what are they gonna say yeah. what are they gonna say i want to see what the, blah, blah, blah. Everybody, i love it i love it i love it still to this day uh the per, uh, the real estate agent who brought the buyer to the property is my client still to this day okay shout out to marcia Ooh. and um and she was at that at that time she was like oh you did the staging beautiful blah, blah. what are your rates what are your fees blah, blah, blah. asking me the question you were like oh, oh shit. <laughs> I, I didn't know because i was really i wasn't right i was gonna kind of you know I was, was I was still learning. I was still learning, right? Right. And if anybody had me back in those days in 2014, 15, you got an amazing deal. Because <laughs> I was giving it, I was, I was doing everything. I was just getting my feet wet and I was just like, okay, but as you learn and you grow, right. time One is works. everything. One yes. Work. Yeah. So that's kind of how I landed um, here. And then I was like, oh, it's called staging. Okay. Because okay. then all the, she was like, how, yes. oh, your staging is beautiful. And I told my husband, I said, oh, it's called staging. It's all right, so it's staging. I love it. It's staging. It's all right. Staging. It's called staging. So now I got to kind of go into this avenue and stuff like that. And then I just started going into more networking events. And I just build all my clients out through just meeting people. And, you know, I'm a people person. So yes, I love. I can see that. Yeah, I love people. I love to interact with people. Um, and so I just kind of, you know, from there, she was giving me referrals. I was using, she was using, we were working together for a long time and then she was word of mouth and that's, you know, I'm very grateful. And, um, yeah. And that's that where we, awesome. yeah. Yeah. It's just still so my, when did you decide, okay, honey, now we're gonna have a business. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, when I was still working for my cousin, Lisa, right? um, I was, you know, talking to my husband, I said, I think I want to just kind of just do this but you know just do this it's like, like you know. i'm gonna jump but like okay <laughs> you got me or? Uh, yeah you like you know so uh but i came home that day right and i told him i said i made this big lie everybody knows this story already i told my husband i said listen me and lisa got into a real big argument oh, and she fired me so i'm not i'm not gonna work for her no more and so he's like what you she fi I, said, I don't want to talk about it i want to talk about it right <laughs> <laughs> talk about it so now i don't have a job so now all my time 
I'm going to put into the staging. I love it. Okay, so I'm doing what I got to do. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And so, um, and then, yeah. And so then my, my first warehouse was my basement, truly. Yes. Uh, my first mover who worked for me was my husband. He was moving the furniture with me. Um, and you haul whatever. I was really doing it like that in the beginning, trying to, you know. And then we started to grow. And now I have my own warehouse, own truck, own team. I know. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> because I mean, days were... I know. I've seen that truck. It's just oh, like. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, it's so nice. Thank you. That's Do you remember mobile. the first time that, you know, when you got it? And Yeah. Uh, it was yellow. So when we first got it, it was yellow. And it was like the school bus. Like oh, the yellow school bus. Man. It was okay. a ski truck. And I was like, oh, my God. I want to get this wrap so bad. And then I just like, my mind changes all the time. Like mm -hmm. all the time. Um, and so. Then I got it like I think three years, two years later after the truck or three years. And then right. I just wrapped it and then I said I'll get some of my projects on there. And then, um, I mean, it's beautiful and it's like House of Mikkel. Yeah, yeah, I want it to look nice and sleek and stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, that's advertising, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah, that yellow was terrible. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I was like, like oh god. So yeah, they, do you help, right? Because I know that. We always have our situations, but do you get the clients that stay with you and, you know, like you help someone with their house and then the owners are like, I love what you said. Yeah. So we get that a lot. So okay. there's times where the, so most of the house we do are vacant. Right. So when the bot, when they purchased the home, they loved what we did. They'll say, you know, um, would you help me with my home? So it really depends on like what right. they're really trying to achieve and stuff. But we have, we have taken them on. I still have one of the, um, this lady, uh, I forget her name now. I'm sorry, but, um, Casey. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, we designed her space and she had just bought the house and we staged it. And she said, I love what you did. Please. I want you to do the whole house. And she mm. really wanted glam, like glam yes. on a 10. I mean, we do, we do touches of glam and stuff, you mm -hmm. know, appropriately, but she was, I was, and she had two kids and I said, okay, well, we're going to have to baby proof the glam because right. a lot of glass with babies. No. So she's like, you do what you want to do. And she was just, yeah. So she, so does it, does it always go? onto the luxury side no so no mm -hmm. we we have a big wide range so yes we do yeah. primarily new construction luxury homes right but we always have um we have a, a, a wide range so yeah. it's not just always luxury you exactly. know not every house is is luxurious right. so and you're gonna walk in there and you're gonna do what's best for right. the for that home right right so yeah we get a wide range of 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 how of homes that we get to stage one of the biggest mistakes that you see it in the industry oh uh, <clears throat> like anything or kind of like um like design aspects yes mm -hmm. okay so one of the my biggest pet peeves is when they do not center the dining room lighting okay yes or the eating geez. kitchen lighting if they're gonna do a chandelier in the eating kitchen it's the room is like this let's say this is the room right and the chandelier should be here with the mm -hmm. lighting. Yeah. But they do the connection over here. Yes. So it's kind of hard because me, I have to see everything like together the way it's supposed to be. Exactly. So if I put the table over here, it's going to look very uh, or close to the mm -hmm. door or something like that. So we sure. kind of have to we play with it as best that we can. But that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Um, and for realtors, give us some advice for realtors. Um, for sometimes, realtors. sometimes okay. there, are, there are realtors that don't you yeah. don't believe in staging. There are, and you know I'm not here to sway anybody ever. Yeah. So like I never will say hey you know like I mean not that I'm saying it like like that. It's just like some you know I'm not gonna convince you. You know right. I'll just you're show. not here to convince right. Yes. But one of the things is um it's probably not that big, but it's a little small. It's another pet it, peeve. It's something. Come on, <laughs> give it to us. <laughs> we, we the bathrooms get are yeah. not going to sell. I mean the bathrooms, yes, the design and stuff. But right. towels, we include that. We do a complimentary bathrooms, right? Sometimes they focus on like, oh, the bathrooms, the bathrooms are going to be done, right? Like, um, you're going right. to put stuff in the bathrooms, right? Right. Oh, uh, the bathroom. And like this, in my mind is like the bathrooms are not going to sell. That's not what's going to sell the home. Right. It's from when you first come in. Yeah. Living room, main areas. That's what, yeah, the bath, it's very, it's minimal. Right. 
Oh, sorry. It's, but it's not going right. to so, be yeah, the reason why. Or taking pictures um, if the property, whether it's an owner occupied or not. Right. Um, not taking pictures like that they're with, in the with, process of moving. Yeah. <laughs> or. Or you mean you don't want to see the picture with the realtor in the mirror? There, too. There you go. Oh, that's another one. <laughs> I haven't seen that one, but that's that's a good one. <laughs> that um, or like you know, like I'm, I'm I never come onto the photo shoots for like if they're gonna do like I was a, just gonna yeah. ask you. So do you ever come right before or you? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we usually like to come in once everything is um, clean. Oh, that's not part of your job. Oh, no, I don't know. No, no, oh. which I will clean after my own mess. <laughs> That's not a problem. I will clean my own mess. I ain't proud, but I'm not going to clean after pre-existing mess. Exactly. <laughs> so, okay. but yeah, so everything has to be clean. So usually we'll say have the cleaning crew come. They can come before or after, but preferably af um, before us. Because okay. we have very protective, we have protective runners that we put, so we're right. not going to really dirty the place. Um, and then after that, is, we usually tell them to schedule photos the next day. Okay. So I'm we can not, make sure that it stays. Yes. So it makes, it stays beautiful. So...